Hi, I just wanted to come on with a quick update. I decided on a whim this evening to try my Antioch login and my user ID has been reinstated. So I don't understand why that has happened. I It appears that I am still in the system and haven't been terminated as of now. I can make assumptions about why my ID was invalid as of yesterday, but is now working, but they're just assumptions. In looking around at my account, one major thing that has changed since last time I had access is that there's a folder missing. We have a thing called Sakai that we use through this program. And it's basically like a, a hub that catalogs all of our courses in separate folders and also contains resources like the student handbook and um, clinical training resources. I used to have access to a folder called student resources in which there was a folder called social justice resources. And I had just been looking through this folder over the last couple of days since making that first video to see if there was anything really uh, important to share and save in case I did lose access. And so I've saved a few documents that I'll be happy to share with you. It's, um, it's kind of like there's, there's documents on allyship, there's documents on white privilege. It's the same kind of DEI stuff. But um, I do have some of those documents saved. I no longer have access to that. So it appears that during the time that my account was um, taken offline or whatever you want to call it, they made some changes. I can, again, I can make an assumption that it's because I'm talking about this and they're trying to um, keep this information from getting out. But again, I don't know for sure. I have been in touch with an attorney who is going to be setting them sending them a letter of representation and inquiring after my official enrollment status. Until then, I am just going to wait and see. So um, I haven't decided 100% whether I want to leave the program. As it stands, I will not sign the diversity pledge, the, the civility pledge that they have asked me to sign. And this has been an impediment to finishing my coursework. I am leaning towards leaving the program based on this, but I'd like to have the option to still consider finishing because I've put a lot of work into it. Thank you for listening and being so supportive as I've gone through these changes. There have been a lot of wonderful comments and I really appreciate everybody who has been kind and um, supportive and encouraging through this process. So hopefully, um, I'll have more news in the next couple of days, but right now that's where it stands. And, um, I will share some of those social justice resources in a, a folder on my Substack, in a post on my Substack. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and look for that. I'll put those up either tonight or tomorrow. Thanks.